Hey guys, it's me, Aaron, and I'm back today. So today I'm going to do a review of the Dead or Alive Sophisticated Boombox 2016 complete discography of the band's work. So I hope you enjoy. This is my first time. Um, so yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy this review. So to give you a little bit of the backstory of the whole thing, I had ordered this in October of 2016 prior to Pete Burns' death, um, and it sold out instantly. Um, which was a little bit of a bummer, but you know, I was patient. Um, this is the CD version. There is a vinyl version with everything with it um, included. Uh, so here's the front side and the back side. It's supposed to look like, you know, a book, but also like a boom box, like a, you know, tech player. Um, it's very nice. I, I, I'm enjoying it. Um, so once we open it, as you can see, it's uh, almost like a 3D effect with the coloring. And as it says, as I readjust, uh, sophisticated boombox. Um, the front and the back have big bold words, just kind of saying what it is. Not too much to say about that. It's very sleek and very shiny, very nice. And as we turn to the first page, each page, I think there's around six pages, has. Uh, either four to three CDs in it. Um, with this one, it is the first album, Sophisticated Boombox, Boom Boom, Sophisticated Boom Boom CD2, Youthquake CD1, Youthquake CD2. And each CD contains the original track listing plus bonus material. Um, and the photos are spectacular. I really love them. Um, they're all from the uh, albums, um, either from the front and the back as uh, we turn the page. See, it's very thick pages, so don't have to worry about them falling out. Uh, this page uh, has... <laughs> uh, my hand glides over. So this page has Youthquake CD3, which is actually the live performance of their concert of Youthquake. And it has Mad Bad Dangerous No CD1, 2. And then I think this is N Rip It Up CD1. Um, and then with this page, is Rip It Up CD2, which just contains more remixes and mixes on um, previous releases. Nude, Nude 2, which is Nude Remade Remodeled, which was a remix album. And I think the next one is Nucleopatra or Fan the Flame. I think it's Fan the Flame Part 1. Yeah. Fan the Flame Part 1 was that one. So this page contains Nucleopatra CD1, 2, Fragile 1, Fragile CD2. And yeah, not really much I can say. It's pretty much categorized in different eras. So for the last page, this one is Fragile CD3. And then the bottom are two promotional videos. So the first one includes uh, all music videos. And the second one is all of live performances. I th believe one of them does have the Rip It Up tour in Japan, which is like a live concert as well either on the first or the second. I think it's the second. I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong. I should also mention before I continue into the book that there was a recall of CDs that had to be replaced due to audio error that was quickly fixed, um, I think, and I actually got those replacement CDs prior to getting this. Um, so that did happen, but I think all these CDs that I got in this one were corrected. That's why it took a little while to get the box itself. Um, and I think the vinyl one had an issue with one of the audios being replaced with Elvis Presley. I think that was the nude vinyl was um, mispressed. So yeah, um, to the book. So this is the last page. Uh, this one includes the book slip, which has a 400 word uh, write up from Pete Burns himself about the career of the band and a little bit about himself and a little thank you to the making of it and buying it. Uh, so here's the front of the book. Um, what else should I say before I start? Uh, the photos are spectacular in each page. Um, each page does contain the track listing of all the CDs, the original plus the bonus, uh, and usually uh, the other CDs if they has more than one. Uh, I think the only one that only has one is just Fan the Flame Part 1. Is only one CD, but everything else is all extra remixes of unreleased material or, you know, um, audios. 
And there are, I think, two albums that contain their remix albums, and that's Nude. The second CD of Nude contains the remade remodel, which is just, like I said, remixes of their tracks. And I think Fragile is, uh, the second CD is Fragile Unbreakable Remixes. Um, so as you can see, each book or each page is each album. So this one is Sophisticated Boom, bo boom, boom. I always screw that up. Uh, as it says, it will list every CD and the bonus tracks with it, and all like the making and who helped produce it on each page. Youthquake is a three CD one, um, original track listing. And the next one is of uh, instrumentals and remixes, and the last one is in its full the Youthquake tour, the audio of it. Uh, some of these were released before on vinyl, but this is now like the full recording of it on CD. And turn over to Mad Bad Dangerous to Know. This one, yeah, CD one is the original track listing with original alternative mixes. The second one is of um, remixes of their songs uh, from the album. Uh, Rip It Up. Rip It Up was a compilation album when it was released, so it had the uh, recent two Youth Quake and Bad Bad uh, best hits onto it, plus added bonuses. The second CD of this one was remixes of You Spin Me Around uh, from, I think, 95, 96, and then a medley from uh, Fan the Flame. Nude. And as I said, um, this one is the original one. And then the remix album is CD2 with, I think, a few extras. Uh, with the CD1, they had a song that was never released called Love Toy. And this is the first time they've actually released it in full on the first CD, um, which, is, which is a really cool bonus to have. Uh, Fan the Flame. Uh, Fan the Flame was only released in Japan um, and this is the only one CD with a few bonus tracks uh, the last three albums did get free new redone artwork of their album covers which is very nice um, and a really cool idea um, and yeah these are these last three albums make their official UK de debut if I'm correct on both vinyl and CD yeah next page and this one is new Cleopatra. This was released in 95, 96. And like I said, this one had a new um, cover for it. Uh, new Cleopatra was actually released on many labels th throughout the world and had various alternative covers, becoming a very big collector's item. And the last album was Fragile. Fragile was uh, a three CD, so it came with the original, the bonus Unbreakable remixes. And the last CDs are just other remixes and then um, some un for released items on CD so their Dirty Disco Never Marry an Icon and the art and then his collaboration with the Pet Shop Boys Jack and Jill Party are included as well which is like I said a really awesome bonus and uh, to this page uh, the discography from 2006 and no <laughs> his discography of the singles from 1980 to 2006 uh, and then it shows the DVDs of the promos of his promotional videos and music videos and then the Rip It Up concert and uh, live appearances on TV shows. Um, I gotta say overall this whole collection if you were to buy all these CDs and like the videos it would probably be a lot more than what I got this for I think what $200 um, is what it cost me which is not bad. And then here's the uh, back of it, Dead or Alive, that's what it says. And here's both of them next to each other. Uh, they're actually a decent size um, than I was expecting. But to show some defaults that I did notice about these, when I first opened it, uh, I guess the glue in the spine cracked and so it has started to warp on the edges. And also because of that, you can see on each page um, those cracks. Um, and then yeah, uh, nonetheless, I love the product. It's a great collector's item if you're ever interested in getting it. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed my really crappy review, but you know, take care and see you next time. Bye guys!